everyone and we are back with another video this time with Mona from Genshin Impact it's by Wonderful Works and from what I can see based on my experience in scale figures this does not look like a going to be a complex unboxing but we'll go on anyway start off right now packaging nice Mona here and Mona here opening of a, the there's an opening here which you can see the figure and it's not that clear, you know, I'm looking through this window. Nothing at the bottom. And the back here, really nice. It showcases the ass, the breast, and figure itself. So let's open up this box. So the packaging is a lot more simple compared to what I had with Klee and Kaching. So let's open. And then this is pretty much it. She is, um, looks like without any form of accessories. Right, let's take a closer look at her. Now this is beautiful. So let's start with the top, the head here, you can see. There's actually shading, there's a darker and lighter shade on her head. Flowing hair. Nice looking figure, the curve. This is her face, which is really nice, quite matching with the. It has this mysterious look and it really matches the one in the game. And what's nicer is the curve. And this, let me look at it in detail. Um, does not look like any much of a shading, but there is shading on the, the cheek here. You can see it's, it's a dark, dark painted and then light so basically nice form, nice look the curve is great even the details on this uh, her, what do you call it, cape nice even down to the legs, look at that the details on this thing over here and the markings on her thighs and let's look at the shoes oh nice so overall, this is a fantastic looking figure, right? Even look at the apps over here, you can see that the painting, the paint job, and the shading, they all look very good. And then, look at this, the, the dress over here, there's even the crease on the, this waistline. So it, uh, the figure itself, how it's sculpted, it totally accentuates her figure. How you would like to pose it, most probably will be her face towards you and then throwing her ass over here and then let's look at the base of which if you play Genshin Impact you know that Mona is of a Hydro character um, looks like for this one the pack is on the this part the camera just lost focus um, the pack is on here so the figure here you can see that the shoes and everything is without any form of pegs. So it's kind of nice without pegs you can actually put her in a position to depend on how you want to pose her. So there's the, the, the usual mounting points and metal pegs, two of it. Oops, sorry, I'm a little bit off from the camera. Let's see. It's almost in. I tend to <laughs> just give me a moment as I get it into place. A bit dumb dumb on that. Anyway, um, let me try. So, if you guys are playing Genshin Impact, you might have her. I, for one, do not have her, which is quite sad. She is uh, good for helping deal damage. And hopefully now the damage is I don't damage the figure because I'm actually trying to put it in. It seems to be not going in. So I'll just uh, come back when I get it in. Oh, okay. So I got the feet in, more or less. So this will be her form. If you look at her from the back view, it's like this. Which I think most of us would enjoy. Even the side view actually is very nice. 
very nice curves really accentuate the female form and more importantly the paint job although I do feel that the face and the body skin mm, okay it, it looks okay so it looks okay so basically looks natural nice curves nice painting even the tiny there's this tiny thing over here this line this string really nice so overall it's a nice paint job with the base matching the the, the figure itself so I like this very much and Will I be building a diorama for this? Looks like I might. I mean, she's so photogenic in this view. So let me know if you have any idea on what kind of diorama. I have some in mind already. Oh, let me look at this part. Um, bottom, I just realized that on the underside of the hat and the... Let me change the focus. See the underside of the cape and the underside of the, the hat. It is... um red color or the top you see the top is all in blue for about 120 US it's actually a nice nice really nice looking figure I, I like I like the, the face um, the paint job looks nice although the shading can be a bit exaggerated like quite a distinct change from the dark to brighter areas but I guess it's okay because at certain angles it actually will help a lot and overall um, I like how it's um, okay like for example the band here you can see that it holds a tie you think it's like the the band uh, pressing on the tie the, the flesh going in it's nice armpit breast um, ass everything looks nice so overall Great figure again from for a Genshin Impact character, and this is by Wonderful Works. So if you are interested in this figure, I guess well, it's a good buy. It's just too bad on my side, Mona has has yet to come into my uh, inventory, so I've never got the chance to use her. All right, that's it for this one. A simple review of a quick overview, unboxing, and all that for this uh, Mona character. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.